In this lesson, you will learn how to activate specific blocks in your course. To further enhance your course and to add more functionality, you can add specific blocks to your course. All the blocks in Moodle can be modified to your specific needs. So let us set up a few blocks in our new course. So we are here in our Moodle site and we've just logged in. And in our dashboard, you will see that our new course that we've just created, Systems Technologies. So let's click on it. Once your course is open, move your mouse to the gear icon in your right hand corner. Click on the arrow pointing down and click on Turn Editing On. Editing is on when you see all the pe pencil icons next to uh, th the course topics. Okay. Now in the left pane, scroll down to where you see Add a Block. Click on it and this menu will appear, the Add a Block menu. Okay. So here we can choose which blocks we want to add to our course. So move your mouse over Calendar and click on Calendar. You will immediately see that the block is added to your course. Okay. Next to the name Calendar, you will see the gear icon on your right hand side. Click on the arrow pointing down and here we can customize the Calendar block. So let's click on Configure Calendar Block. And here, in this window, we can configure the calendar block. It says here, display on page types. And here you can choose from the drop-down list where the calendar should appear. The default region, where it should appear on the left-hand side or on the right-hand side. And the default weight. It's currently set at zero, just leave it there. Uh, where should it appear on this page? Should it be visible? The region should be left or right, and the weight also zero. When you're done making changes, just click on Save Changes. And the calendar block will be configured correctly. Okay. Now let's set up another block. So scroll down on your left pane, click on Add a Block, and now we are going to add a block for latest badges. Okay, so let's click on latest badges. And it will immediately add the latest badges block on your right hand side. Again, you can configure the latest badges, but we are not going to do that now. Okay, let's add another block. Scroll down, click on add a block. And now you scroll down to where you see Level Up. Okay, this is one way to gamify your course. So let's click on Level Up. And you'll see here the Level Up block appears. Okay, now how does this work? Okay, here's the Level Up block in action. You'll see here that you have the rank of the learners, the level that they have achieved, and the participants' names. Then you have the totals, the experience points they have gained through the course. Okay, so this is a nice way to gamify your course. And the students will be notified on which level they are in your course. Okay, let's add another block. And this time we'll add course completion status. Click on it. Okay, what this block does, it indicates how many items or how many activities in your course the learners completed. Okay, so let's see here. Um, here we have our students, and here we have the completion progress. All the green bars. Uh, are completed. The red ones need to be completed. It's not completed. You'll have a visual view of 
what the learners completed and where attention is needed okay uh, you can even select the learners that needs attention and you can send them a message telling them that they need to give attention to the course and here you can type a message send the learner a message okay that's that okay and we can also configure this by clicking on the gear icon so this is how you set up or activate the blocks in your course and as soon as we start working in the course you will see how we can further configure these blocks